Hello everyone, this is Darwell20 and welcome to episode 6 of Darwell20's Let's Play series. I'm excited today because I now have two Mark V solar panels. Haha, <laughs> all the crafting is complete. Uh, between episodes, I basically just did a whole bunch of crafting and uh, got what I wanted done, so I'm happy about that. I can put away all this excess stuff that I don't need no more, and that works for me. And now we should have a healthy amount of power gen uh, going on here. Uh, I should be able to stick you there and you there. And each one of these guys will generate, at best, is it 512 per? Oh, that's pretty ridiculous. That's pretty OP, actually. I'm not going to lie. A little overpowered. But hey, I'll take it. Now, I'm not entirely sure how much power transfer per tick goes on uh, here. I'm definitely noticing that, like, things aren't keeping up as much as I would like them to. So like if I stick that in there, see how he's draining faster? Um, we have plenty of power here and he's he's transferring just fine. Just, you know, it's not conduiting super fast. So I have to look into how conduits work in the new Ender IO because there are not multiple tiers of conduits. There's only one energy conduit. There's not There's not tier two and tier three energy conduits. So I don't know if there's like, a threshold to how much energy they transfer per tick. That's something I'm gonna have to investigate uh, for sure. So we'll figure that out, I guess. Um, now it's possible that it might be this guy that's the, the capacitor bank. Do you think that is like capping my thing or whatever? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if there's a limit to how much RF per tick he can transfer. Uh, it might be that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's the cable or the capacitor bank that's throttling my my transfer speed. But one way or another, uh, it ain't fast enough. So we'll have to figure that out. The nice thing too, by the way, is that these dudes have like a nice little internal reservoir of power as well. So they'll build up, it looks like 8 million each. Yeah. Yeah. That mod's OP. Let me just put it out there. A little bit, but that's okay. You know Dyer likes his OP mods every now and then. Uh, so with that said, today's episode, let's make a basement and decide what we're going to do. Well, hey, while minding, I found a geode. That's cool. Just wanted to note that. We'll be back for that later. I need more gold for something I want to make, and I'm looking for gold at the highest Y level. And I found 41 diamonds and one piece of gold. So, ha, <laughs> RNG getting me as usual. Don't worry. We'll be back. All right. Finally got some more gold after a hefty amount of mining. A very hefty amount of mining. And uh, you're cooking up more iron for me? Good. You do your thing. Uh, let's make what I want to make. Uh, two things I want to make, actually. Uh, I think I'm going to need some uh, glowstone and some diamonds for it. I actually have a healthy amount of diamonds right now, so I made myself a diamond sword. Just because my old sword broke and uh, I wanted a new sword and, you know, things, stuff happened. All right. Uh, I would like a mega torch. And then I would also like a Feral Flare Lantern, which requires a little bit of glass. Doesn't hurt to carry that around on me, too. Sweet. Okay. Good times. Uh, I like to throw these in the center of my house here, uh, which, you know, is a pretty pretty cool place to, to toss some stuff. Yeah, it should be fine right there. So I'll pop this guy here. And there. And that should keep my house pretty well lit. Uh, and I shouldn't need these torches anymore, though I usually wind up just leaving them around. Uh, but in theory, I can get rid of all the torches. And the Feral Flare Lantern should light up the whole area around my house. And the Mega Torch will prevent hostile mobs from spawning anywhere near my base. Uh, which will be nice, because A, sometimes spiders like to climb up on my roof, and that's annoying. Uh, and, and B, just walking around outside can be dangerous. So the Mega Torch should prevent you know, any nearby, like, hostels, right? We shouldn't have too many hostels in the immediate vicinity as a result. Now, the next thing I'd like to have, which is a super convenience item for me, requires a couple ender pearls, uh, a couple more than I currently have. Luckily, I've got some ender pearl fragments that should help. Uh, now, I think I'm just going to need you and you, and that might be close, though we might need a little bit more ender pearling. I want to make my charged porter. Uh, I feel like being able to teleport back to my main base whenever I'm out and about in the world, because I keep getting lost in my mining caves and wanting to teleport home, and I'm like, ugh, it's a hassle having to, to run home. So three ender pearls for the receiver? Are you kidding me right now? Three ender pearls? Oh my goodness, that's a lot of ender pearls. Well, I'm going to need, you know, more ender pearls, clearly, uh, at least a little bit. So I'm going to have to hunt mobs overnight. So let's look at armor. What kind of what kind of armor do we have? Uh, I mean, we've got Aether Steel, which looks kind of 13 armor. That's not bad. Not bad at all. 
Sweet. Uh, looks like some significant stuff. I assume that that's yeah. That looks like uh, that looks like the Aether mod. I assume Aether Steel is from the Aether mod. Uh, what else do we have chest plate wise? Uh, Blood magic. We've got Cataclysm mod. That's I think a uh, an end add on. I'm not sure actually. Um, we'll take a look at it. So there's uh, this stuff. Okay. Anything particularly cool that looks newish? Forbidden Arcanus has some nice armor. What I wouldn't mind is maybe the Ars Nouveau armor. Should we jump into Ars early on and get some like cool magical stuff going on side by side with our uh, technical stuff? That could be cool. Because I think Ars would give us like uh, some of the things we're missing from Batania. Like we can't make the sash and all that. That lets me run faster and uphill step assist and good jumps. But I think we can get an equivalent thing from Ars Nouveau with some of the armor upgrades that you can get with like the whole thread thing. So like all the cool things you can get there, like these guys. Yeah. Um, that's cool. Yeah. There's definitely like a speed boost you can get from one of these guys. Jump higher and increases how far you may fall before taking damage. Yep. That's definitely one of them. Okay. Uh, yeah, bunch of cool things, actually. I'm pretty sure there's, like, a run faster one of these, though, isn't there? An extra stack of looting. That's kind of cool. Yeah, there's probably other ones that I don't know about. But then we could also use this for, like, making the spell that lets us travel around a little bit easier. Like, there's all kinds of good things we can get out of ours. I might want to do an ours Nouveau startup pretty soon. I don't know if we're going to do it today, but soon. So what might not be a bad idea, actually, while we're here, let's go ahead and get a, let's get a basement going. Uh, if I want to get a basement going, I kind of want to make elevators. So I really need to hunt some more Endermen. We'll wait for it to be nighttime. You know what I could do? I could make, I could make a hammock. Can I make a hammock? Yeah, I think we could make a hammock. Just need some string and a little bit of wool. We might have enough string. Yes, wool, maybe not, but I see some sheeps. Uh, I see some sheeps on my map. That might be cool. Let's do that. Let's get you. Actually, it looks like we already have some iron. Put all that away. Yeah, let's get a hammock so we can sleep through the day, make it nighttime, and then hunt some endermen, get my teleport receiver, and my... Yeah, I think that's plan. I think that's plan. Looks like we're going to have a brown hammock today see if i could teleport home right now would be awesome right no running home teleport home that would be cool all right you can go in my backpack oh that's right i had a bunch of stuff that didn't fit in my backpack uh yeah that's right i was mining i ran out of inventory space I've been collecting resonating crystals. I'll probably do that again, because uh, that's a fun mod to automate and play with. Okay. And remember, I told you I found the amethysts. So that's neat, too. Okay. All cleaned up, organized. So let's get our hammock. So a hammock. We'll do a brown one. Oh, I put my string away, didn't I? I was organizing my inventory and just completely absentmindedly put away my string. So there we go. Brown hammock. Uh, and that's from the comforts mod. And in order for that to work, we're going to need a rope and nail. And that's going to allow us to hang our hammock. Right? Now, I always forget what... Um, what kind of distance we need between the hammocks. There's not enough space to fit the hammock, okay? Let's do it here. That works, cool. And this will let me pass the day into night, and now it should be basically dusk, and we should have some Endermen spawning soon. Beautiful. Okay. Let me uh, hunt Enderman overnight and we'll come back. If anything interesting happens, I'll tell you, but assume that I'm just going to be hunting Enderman and we'll come back once I'm done. Cool. Back. In the oh, I even see one on the map already. Look at that. 
Did he spawn over here? Or like, is that an underground dude? That might be an underground dude. Oh no, he's right there. Hang on. Nobody panic. Come here, Andrew. Hooray! Alright, back in a few. Oh, what's this dude? Undead Knight. What mod is that? Just Minecraft. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I needed to know what the Undead Knight was, though. I was curious. <laughs> I need better armor. Alright, not a terrible uh, adventure. I got some cool stuff, though. Got some neat stuff. All right, so that might, um, am I short like one fragment? Ah, that's right. What I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna do my elevator first and then we'll go from there. Cool. Let me get some more wool. So I actually do have three ender pearls. So I am gonna make my receiver now. Does that sound cool? Yeah, let's get that going and then we'll do our, uh, We'll do our we'll do our uh, elevators in a bit. There's another thing I want to get, by the way. How many of these? I have three of these. I need I need another Ender Pearl. It's a it's surprising how many Ender Pearls you need uh, to really <laughs> at the early game. There's so many cool like neat functional things that you can do with Ender Pearls. Yeah, it's just it's just it's just a lot. Uh, and I need two gold nuggets while I'm at it too. Okay. Uh, so that should be cool to make this, and then I can make one of these, and that'll be nice. And this will be my teleport home dude. Now, he's going to need power, so we're going to have to get some kind of power cabling over here, which is probably where my basement's going to come into play. Uh, but we'll call it home base. And then I can bind my charged porter to it. Awesome. Now my charged porter needs a little bit of power. Now, I'm pretty sure that we're going to want this thing, um, the, 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 the dude to be charged up. So, do I want to run cabling all the way over here? How do I want to do that? Uh, I guess so. I guess we should make some more cabling from Ender.io. We can do that, right? Yeah, that should be fine. And this stuff was, again, conductive alloy. That's uh, copper alloy, which is copper and silicon, redstone and iron. So we've got iron and redstone on us. Let's get some copper and some more silicon. Cool. And then you're gonna be these guys. And then you're gonna be these guys. Perfect. And then you should be fully charged up. And then you should make that perfect. And is it nighttime yet? Because I need I need like one more ender pearl right now. I'm gonna sleep and get another ender pearl, and then this will make this a lot easier. So I'll be right back. Dude, check this out. There is a skeleton riding a bee. Honeyed archer, it's called. That is hilarious. And it is not easy to kill without Ah! Did he just spawn an Enderman on me? What is going on? To home. Here you I plugged in my sterling generator here, figuring I didn't need it no more. How smart is that, huh? Clever Dyer is clever. I thought I could get home if I needed to. Alright, did you go in here? You did. I got you, Enderman. Yeah, did he spawn an Enderman on me, or what 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 was the deal there? I don't know. I have no idea. Though I see an Enderman on my map, which is cool. I think that's where that archer dude was. There we go. Now we have a way up this little ravine that I made for myself. No, that's a different position. That's okay, though. Are these wild carrots? They are. Cool. A little skeleton. We're getting there. All right, that's enough Ender Pearls for now. So this gets me two things. One, uh, I can make elevators, which is cool. And two, I want to make a personal shrinking device. 
So that shouldn't be too bad to make. I just need, um, is it a glass pane or glass? Any glass. So you, and then just a, a stone for a button, and then one ender pearl, and then six iron ingots. This will be useful for a few things. You'll find out shortly. Uh, but yeah, I love Shrink. It's a great mod. Let's charge this bad boy up. Now let's go into and make a basement. So I can stick this dude here. So how deep do I want my basement to be? How about one, two, three, four, five? Is that cool? So I want him to go up five, down one. I don't want him to go left at all, but I do want him to go right. If I anchor you, that should be good. Is that cool or do I want this to be one? I might want to go one lower. Yeah, that should be good. Let's do it. Clear out basement, please. Go. Hey, not too shabby. I definitely feel like the snap is like the coolest way to do the destruction gadget. You do you, but I think if you're going to do destruction gadget, snap is the way. And hey, look, there's my there's my dude. Perfect. Awesome. Everybody's exactly the way I would want them to be. Now, you I would like to do the exact same thing, but I want it to be a depth of 1. Goodbye. Ah, it's so cool looking. I love it. <laughs> nice. All right. So uh, I can fill in the floor here uh, with some with some stuff. Uh, what I'd like to do, though, is make sure that we have some power running across here. So let's get that going. Okay. And I'll run this power over here so that we don't need that anymore. Okay. Perfect. That looks good. Okay. And then for the basement itself, uh, we can use our exchanging gadget uh, to make the floor look nice. Uh, and the building gadget as well, what I'll do is I'll just copy that structure and then build to me a bunch just to fill this floor in. And courtesy of the Feral Flare Lantern we placed earlier, this basement is now well lit. And that works for me, right? Now we're going to need, obviously, a little bit more of these. So let's get our buddy the chisel and this dude with a bunch of the cobblestone that you already have in, in here. Okay, let's get, what was it again? Uh, what pattern did I do? Was it this guy? Dented cobblestone. Dented cobblestone. Was it this one? Yeah, yeah, I think that's right. Cool. And then you should have no problem exchanging. That looks good, right? Nice. Okay. And uh, I think I was storing these guys in here. And then for the wall, we were doing pulverized cobblestone. At this point, we can throw down our elevator shaft. Yes, excellent. Perfect, perfect. And then we can exchanging our way into the walls here, right? That good?
See, I'm going to try and make things look nice this season, especially if you guys give me uh, some, some buildings to build. That would be awesome. Okay, overall not terrible. Not a bad little basement for us to live in, right? And now I can run my cabling to places like that and we'll be in good shape. All right, so I got the personal shrinking device, and there's a very good reason for that. Uh, let's see, it's right click for the UI? Yes, and then you can shrink yourself or grow yourself if you wanna be ridiculous. Oh my goodness, what is the limit? I don't even know. Uh, but if you wanna get super tiny, uh, you can with a shift right click. And then it's super cool, cause you can like, you know, run around and, and, and hide between blocks and all kinds of other stuff. It's pretty slick. Very, very cool mod. Uh, however, that's not the main purpose I have for it right now. The main purpose is you can shrink other entities and store them in bottles. Specifically things like sheep and cows and all the other things you might want to set up a farm for. So two things I want to do right now. First, I'm going to head due south. And if I run into any uh, farm animals I might want, specifically sheep, I'm going to shrink them and store them in a bottle. Okay, so let's head this way and see what we can find. It might not be a bad idea to grab a chicken or two. I think you left click the entity to shrink it, and then you can pick it up in a bottle. Cool, and now there you go. Contains Minecraft chicken. Ah, how cool is that? I like it. All right, um, then we need to find something else in this direction. Now it looks like there's some sheep over there. Sheep is definitely one of the ones I want. I'm gonna need a lot of wool. Um, so I want to get a few sheep and set up like a little animal farm that we can harvest the wool and possibly some other things. Um, I would like to, to stick with just white wool if I can, because uh, it'll be easier Then we don't have to have like multiple storage options. I can store it all in one big thing. So that'll be good. So it looks like there's actually a lot of sheep over here. So that's kind of cool. Some over here. And some cows, too, I probably wouldn't mind snagging a few of. Yeah, shrink makes getting, like, passive mobs home so much better. There's a few mods that add a thing that let you pick up entities like this, but shrink makes it, like, incredibly easy. And that is something that I like about it. Awesome. All right, now, in addition, let's head off in this direction. So I wouldn't mind uh, maybe a couple more sheep, maybe a couple more cows, uh, just so we can get breeding going too. And then maybe we don't have to eat bread all the time. Cool. Here's my village. If I wanted to, I could bring villagers back with me, but I don't think we need to do that. Is that a bee over there? That might be a bee. And uh, let's see, anything else on my map that I might particularly want? You know what I might want is, that's a really big bee. Hello, Bumblebee. He is quite large. Hey, it's a Starbuckle. I wouldn't mind one of them. Come here, you. I would like a Starbuckle at some point, so I don't mind snagging one. Uh, here, this is what I'd like to see. Hello, friend. I'm going to mine this up a little bit. Now, oh boy, you take a long time to mine, don't you? That works though, right? Yes, Skystone, beautiful. All right, let's see what we, uh, what we get here luck-wise. I might wanna turn on, uh, precision mode. I want to get into AE2 sooner than later in this pack. Uh, so since we've already got a decent amount of power going on, I figured now might not be a bad time to do that. So to get into AE2, we're going to need to harvest this thing. There we go. Now we're cooking. That's what I'm looking for. In the center of these meteorites is where you find Certus Quartz now. Um, so let me clear this out and see what we got here. And maybe, maybe, maybe we're lucky. And if we're lucky, that would be cool. And hopefully I can cheese this, because I think I might be able to cheese this a little bit, a little bit, we'll find out. Uh, but the mysterious cube here, I guess you break these, is that how it works now? 
And that's where you get your inscriber presses from now. That's cool. Now, in addition, there's a bunch of Certus Quartz here that buds. And there's a couple different tiers of it. There's chipped, and there's flawed, and there's flawed, and there's chipped, and there's chipped. Now, is there only one layer of this, or are there multiple layers? That's what we need to find out. Uh, there's, there's other types. I'm looking for flawless. There might not be flawless here. That might be a bummer. That might be a bummer. I was hoping there'd be like a little bit more of it. Is there only one layer of it? It's possible that that's how it works. That's kind of how it's looking, isn't it? I might need to check another meteor if there is one nearby. I think there is actually. Okay, so there's different tiers of this. So there's there's damaged as the weakest, then there's chipped, then there's flawed, then there's flawless. You can't make flawless. You can make the others. To make damaged, you get charged Certus, you drop it in water with a Certus Quartz block, and you'll get a damaged budding Certus Quartz. Um, if you drop that in water, you'll get uh, chipped, and if you drop that in water with a charged Certus Quartz, you get flawed, and then you're done, right? And what happens is, um, it, it, every time it grows one of these little buds, it has a chance to drop down to the next version. So flawed becomes chipped, chipped becomes damaged, and then eventually, uh, damaged will become regular Certus Quartz blocks. Um, you can pick these up with Silk Touch, and that's cool. However, you can't move Flawless with Silk Touch, but you can move it with AE2 Spatial Storage. But I think there might be another cheesier way to do it. That might be my fault, and I can get yelled at for its existence, but that's fine. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, I think there's another Meteor down here. But you guys, none of you are Flawless, right? You're damaged, chipped, flawed. Now I can pick these up. And that's cool. And I got... It, when you break them normally, you get, like, the weaker version of them. So that's fine. So let me put away all this stuff. What I should have brought with me. Uh, and I'm wondering if I can actually just wing it right now. Or you know what? I'm right. I'm close enough to a village that I can do this. So that's... So I'm going to go sleep through the night in the village. But I should have brought... Um, I should have brought a, a, a sleeping bag with me. How much is it? Three of them? That's not terrible. I might, I might be cool, because there are some dudes here, and I think I should have shears, right? Yeah, I see you, skeleton. I'm very excited that you exist, I promise. Maybe I'll just sleep through the night in the village. Yeah, I think that's fine. Do, 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 do. Oh, somebody's in that bed already. I'm not going to kick you out of your bed, buddy. Don't worry. I'll just sleep here. Let's go check out the other meteorite and see if we can't get lucky enough to find a flawless uh, budding Certus Quartz, okay? So if we head due south from my current position, we're going to go through a forest, and then we'll be there. Uh, I'll meet you when I get there. Is that cool? Yeah, let's let's meet when we get there. All right, so here's the next... Ooh, look at this meteor. This is like all crying obsidian and stuff. Holy cow. That's kind of cool, right? Isn't that neat looking? I like that. So let's build to me here and then start digging our way into this stuff. Okay, now the goal is that we're gonna cross our fingers that we find flawless. Okay, and that would be cool. Who's cutting onions? I don't know, who is cutting onions? What's that for? Obtaining crying obsidian. Okay, cool. Oh, hello. Oh my goodness, look at all this fanciness. So there's a loot or loot chest in here. That's interesting. Moon sand from Ad Astra. I'm assuming that's just or dictionary with any sand. Yeah. And I don't think there's much else I care about here. I'm hoping that this is like... Is this an AE2 meteor? It looks like an AE2 meteor. I can't imagine it's anything but an AE2 meteor. Let's put these guys away for a sec. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and break the looter chest so that I can dig through it. Yeah, I know. It's per player instanced. This is a single player world, so it's fine to break it. I, I, okay. Uh, you have to sneak. Sneak while doing so to properly break it. Okay. So I guess there's no, in this meteor, there's no budding Certus. That's a bummer. What's down here? 
polished vassal. Okay. Well, that's kind of a bummer, right? Isn't that a little bit of a bummer? A little bit of a bummer. All right, so let's see. Is that all my stuff? All right, let's go home because inventory full. I was hoping for some flawless because that would be cool to, to mess with. Uh, I'm going to have to find another meteor if I want to try some. We'll try to find it. But at least for now, we have some service, and that's that's going to be huge for us. It'll make life a lot easier. Let me let me designate a chest for all this. We can put all this away. The crying obsidian and the obsidian and all that good stuff. You can go away. Organizing the inventory. This. That. See, this is why I want to get away from having to do this. Okay, and then you can go away. And I'm gonna save all my animals for the future. Well, we're gonna set up a nice little farm with them, okay? Uh, this stuff, everything else in here can stay, right? Yeah, that looks good. All right, so I'm gonna put away you guys. And let's get a bigger chest for This, 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 and that. Perfect. And then another chest, that'll be my AE2 stuff as a work in progress. Okay, so this can go in here and the chipped and the damaged and all that stuff. So chipped Certus, um, if we place it in the world, okay, uh, it should start generating Certus Quartz for us. And that'll be cool. Um, now I should be able to also tick accelerate it and it might generate even faster. I'm assuming the time in a bottle will do the kind of tick acceleration that this needs. Uh, now there's also growth accelerators that, um, are pretty cool. How do we use them? Powered crystal growth accelerators speed up growth of adjacent budding Certus Quartz. So if I get one of these and power it up, it will give me budding Certus faster. And oh my goodness, I forgot that I have a hole, a very big hole in the ground right there. Okay, so this will slowly but surely grow. I don't know which of these blocks I want to accelerate, but I'm assuming it's this one. I don't want to waste too much time in a bottle, but essentially we want to get uh, a growth accelerator, place it adjacent to this guy. He's going to need a little bit of power, but we can handle that. In order to get this going, we're going to need a little bit of Certus Quartz. Now, the good news is I can totally... So I think Chipped is like a good one. Uh, it's not the best, but it's good. But every time you mine those blocks and pick them back up, you get um, a lower version of it. So like, for example, if I put Damage down and I break it, I'll get Certus Quartz. And I can turn those directly into Crystals, which I can then use to get this stuff. So how about we wrap up the episode here, come back next episode, get a basic A2 system up and running, and that might be a lot of fun. Cool? For now, Delta 20 sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.